man, I didn't even realize I bought the skin and I didn't even realize that they did that they did a rebalance. Oh man. Let's check this out. Um I really like how they're giving us different types of skins, not just like the same artwork with different like eras, you know, decades of skins, like 1980s, 1990s, whatever. What they should do, what would be a good idea, is make 3D skins or skins that move, you know? That would be, that'd be pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, I got the blade skin and I was like, wait, let me check. I'm, I'm like super late, by the way, uh, checking this. Um, they, <laughs> I didn't even realize they, made, they, they reworked him. Um, okay, let's just go. There's, uh, okay, Alice Bluston, obviously. Ability Night Stalker. Okay, this is before. It cost seven. It cost eight before. Um, let's see. This is one where you deal damage and you put the thing to uh, the. I said put the thing. Like I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh God. Uh, deal 1006 damage to the target. And then creates a green repeater tile. Activates every turn, still in one AP. And the enemy's strongest color. Okay, so I his best build was always 535. The attack tile one, I always put at three. Um strike tile one. You want it at five, you want stronger strike tiles. This one obviously because it steals AP and it's just single target damage. Um better than attack tiles in my opinion. For him. Um I've seen some people go four five four, but I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why, but two strong, you know? Um Play the game how you want, play it how you you enjoy it. Just it's, it's, it's that simple. At least there's gonna be meta users, but it is what it is, right? Let them have fun, you have fun the way you want to. Um level five, you deal 2312 damage and steal three AP from the enemy's strongest color each turn. also makes a precision slash for this sword, dealing a crippling blow to his enemy. It was 1,258 damage to the target, and then creates a 1-1 one, one turn. Clean repeated tile that steals 1 AP from the enemy's strongest color. Okay, so this one is... Okay, they green repeated tile, okay. 2 AP, 3, level 5, you're dealing less damage. And you still you you are stealing three AP. Okay. Okay. Four star ascended, six thousand three AP from the strongest color. Um, one one turn green repeater tile, same thing. Okay, so the damage right? They lower the damage. I, I mean, they've been doing this recently, they've been lowering the damage, but I mean, it is, it's whatever. Um, after, it's the same, right, the same as, uh, before Ascended. 550, they even give us the 550, that's crazy. Deal 28,000, um, damage, and you're stealing 3 AP. In 5 star land, he's gonna be kind of insane. I think I have him Ascended, I'm not sure, um... I actually think I used him ascended. I have to try that again. Um, after the day, twenty-eight thousand. The damage is okay. Um, seeing as he how he steals AP every turn. So yeah, that can. That's the annoying part. Not even damage. Just hey, let me steal three AP every single turn. Right, GG's. Um, okay, that was his Night Stalker. I, I like what they did. It's pretty cool. Made him a little bit faster. Um, let's see. Um, keep your enemies closer. Keep your enemies. Hello. 
いさ。So he's always had the one turn repeater tile. The, the only thing they the only thing they did was lower the AP by one, right? And lower the damage. Um at, Yeah, level five. Um Oh wait, no, it wasn't always that one, was it? Remember. Hmm. I, think it, I don't see this is what I get for checking late. Oh man, but uh, 7 AP is better than 8 in my opinion. I said that before. Alright, next ability. Keep your enemies closer. Call for 10. This one is nice. This one's nice, Doctor. Okay, keep your enemies closer. Um, 10. Before, let's go past this. Okay, this one's a tactile one. Uh, creates a purple tactile. Yada yada, with bonus 86 strength for each friend. Strike tile on the board. Okay. Max six strike tiles. I think this is why people go 454 or even 355. They just utilize his purple and his strike tiles to not really have to do anything. Just make matches and he match black, use it. The repeater tile is going to pop off. Um. Skill AP, whether it be one, two, or three, you're increasing those attack tiles. I mean, you can go four, four, five, I, I would assume. Okay, so at level three, 129. Level four creates a purple attack tile with base strength 470, and then level five create two attack tiles. The strength is still 470, doesn't go up or down. After the the attack tile is 231, before is 235. They lowered it by four, lowered this by two, and then this maximum is still six. So what 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 do they do? Am I am I missing something or like what? Um, level three from 126, old is 129. Max bonus at seven tiles. Okay, so eight tiles instead of six. So they lower the damage, they lower the numbers, and increase the maximum amount of strike tiles that are able to up the attack tiles. Like, I mean, I guess like it's it, it's literally the same thing if you think about it. Um, I'm just gonna keep this ability at three. Regardless, it doesn't matter. I'm going 535, the logical setup for him, right? Throw your strike tiles out passively and then hit for his black ability, dealing increased damage because of those strike tiles. And instead instead of having to use your instead of having to use your uh you know tile, your purple ability and then rely on strike tiles being on the board or whatnot. So yeah, I'm just gonna go with 535. Um, Ascended, he's kind of insane. It's wild. Alright, last ability. B. Thirst, this is a strike tile one, AP cost zero. Imagine if they made it cost one AP. Actually, that would be kind of crazy because there's some characters that when you activate abilities, certain things pop off. Um, this is 266, by the way. Um, if there are 11 or more red tiles on the board, excuse me, uh, Blade converts a random basic red tile to a strength 79 strike tile. At four, you get two strike tiles. Five, you create strike tiles when there are ten or greater ten red tiles. Just say that. Okay. Um, so that's why this one's at five. Alright, after the there are Uh, 
Alright, 11 or more red tiles. Convert one random base tile to strength 131. Oh, they increased the strength. Okay, so lower the numbers of the other abilities. I still think it's somewhat the same, but I think like, it, it, it's a little bit better. Right, they increased the strength of these strike tiles. This is after 131 from from 79. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, for every two friendly strike uh, strike or attack tiles on the board up to six. All right, so with the start of the next turn, 11 or more red tiles on the board. Convert one random basic red um, strike 131 strike tiles. For every two friendly strike or attack tiles on the board. They... Night Stalker costs one AP less. Less... I said, why did I say less? Hello? Hello? I'm having a stroke here? Less... One AP less. There you go. Um, keep your enemies closer. Two AP less. Right. Now, level three. Convert. Uh, convert at ten red. You get two. Level four. Convert tiles to strength one ninety four. Level five. Convert at nine or more tiles. Convert. Uh, convert tiles. He strike to 10. They just made him way better. It went from lowering numbers, not by a lot, by the way, to just making him amazing. Um, yeah, so for every two friendly strike or that house on the board up to six, his other abilities are just... He's just gonna obliterate. Like, the AP steal is gonna be insane. Um... Attack tiles, like, you could legitimately put build them however you want, like, 355, 445, 454, like, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, right? But this right here stays the same. 3, 4, 5 change for the better. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. So you're essentially going to be firing these abilities for nothing. Oh man. I am glad that I... That I checked this out, you know, better late than never, but GG's. Um... Yeah, man, this is going to be... It's going to be interesting. I like it. <laughs>